Hello guys, today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial step by step on how to jailbreak your Amazon Fire Stick. As you see, I'm doing the first step where you go to settings, you go to device, you go to developer option, and you have to have ADB um, on and other options on as well. You go to search, you go to ES File Explorer. You search that and you have to download this app in order to download Kodi to your Fire Stick. Once that loads up, um, you will need to go to Favorite. It'll take a second to load. You scroll to the left. It's taking a second. Um, favorite, Add, and you need to add this uh, link HTTP. Then you have to two dots forward slash forward slash Kodi dot TV K O D I dot TV. Then you hit next. Then the name, call it Kodi. Then you have to add that. Now it's going to be on the favorites. You scroll down to the Kodi. You click it and it will open up the link on the right side. Now scroll down and select your operating system, which is Android. The Fire Stick is an Android operating system. Then you scroll down all the way down where it says older releases. Then you click here, that blue tab. Scroll down to Android, ARM, then you scroll down to Kodi 18.0, the very top one. Now if the download did not open up, you have to go all the way to where it says more, then it says open in browser. You tap that and it will open up the download, it says yes downloader just once, then it will start doing the download. This will take about a minute or two depends on your internet speed so let's wait until that downloads once that is done open file then install Done installing, then open up Kodi. Then it will say first time on, turn it on. Sorry about the glitching um, on the recording. Then you go to the setting icon, file manager, add source. Then you need to add the source. And you can pause this screen to type in the source on your fire stick which is http column forward slash forward slash one nation dot info forward slash portal You can pause it here if you want. I'm just going to keep the name portal. Then you click back twice. Then you scroll down where it says add-ons. Then top left corner, the box. You tap that. Then you go to install from zip file. Settings, you need to turn on unknown sources. You click yes. Then you click back. Then you hit install from zip file. Then click on portal then you have to download this.
once you hit that don't click anything it'll take a few minutes until the a small screen comes up so don't touch nothing now once that you see that screen it'll pull up this you hit continue then says read this be careful so you have to click on built if you hit close you will never able to open that screen again so make sure hit built menu then another screen will come up um, then it will give you some servers so you could download uh, the uh, Lia server from the Lia server actually Click continue I don't know why it's kind of glitching on my screen it may look a little bit different on yours so it says build menu then you scroll down where it says Lia server 1 you click on that then you scroll down to it's taking a second where it says fresh install you click on that then you hit continue so what that does it restore your Kodi to a fresh settings and it will set it up to a whole new look so yes install that's gonna take about five ten minutes depends on your speed I'm just gonna fast forward to when that is done Once the download is done, this will come up and make sure you force close Kodi. And once you do that, go ahead and reopen Kodi. Um, the download we did is going to change the theme on your Kodi app. And it's going to make it, like, basically it's going to give you everything easy to use as you see here. Like where you can go to music, movies, TV shows, everything's going to be laid out simple and easy make sure when you open um, Kodi don't interfere with the download you see up top where it's gonna create um, the scan the add the shortcuts and all the add-ons to your Kodi and you will have the live TV um, to watch movies TV shows just like what you did with the old updates on Kodi and the old sources but that's going to give you an additional things to do with your Kodi through your Fire Stick device. This should be it for today's tutorial, guys. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel for more videos. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below. And I'll be glad to answer your questions. And as soon as if this kind of changes, I will update you guys with more. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time.